Today I am on a quest to find out if I can be more creative simply by removing the barriers of decision making. And by that, I mean having less gear. And how do you measure creativity? Well, let me know in the comments if you think this little experiment of mine has succeeded. On with the video. Good morning, everybody. Some of you may have noticed that I'm traveling a bit light this morning. That's right, no camera bag whatsoever. And there's a good reason for this. Today's experiment is to find out if less is more. And what I mean is less gear, more creativity. So here's the problem. See, when I come out to make YouTube videos, I typically have two cameras on me as a minimum. One to film me, and then the second one to actually take the photographs. If you only come out with one camera, you can never actually film yourself taking the photographs. So that's predominantly why I have two cameras. But it's not just two cameras. Each camera will have probably a different lens, one catered towards video, another one towards photography. So already when I get to a scene, I think, okay, should I get the macro lens out? Should I shoot it wide? Should I do this? Should I do that? That's what I want to remove entirely. See, last year I came here and took some photographs, probably my best photographs of Bluebell Woods that I've ever taken. I wasn't filming that day, and maybe that might be one of the reasons I was concentrating on the photography. The second reason why I think I got the best ever Bluebell Woods photos is because I only had one camera on one lens. I had literally zero decisions to make. It was all about composition and then just sitting and waiting for the light. Now, I'm joined by a few other photographers. You might be able to see them in the background here. One of them is not local and the other one is my friend, Stuart Redding Brown. He goes under the name of SRB Photography. Maybe before he goes, I'll get him into the shot. So I think one of the secrets to getting this system to work, when I say system, I mean just going light, as light as possible, is to have a zoom lens. Now that's really easy if you shoot landscapes because most of the time I'm shooting at f8 and f11, um, and that means you can have a lens that has a massive zoom range and you don't have to worry about having fast apertures and things like that. Now the advice in photography for a long, long time has always been stay well away from lenses that have a massive zoom range. Anything that goes from wide to medium to telephoto, it can't be great at everything. But I think times are changing. This Tamron 28 to 200 does a great job at a lot of things. First of all, it's f2.8 at the wide end, and as you zoom into 200, it stops down to f5.6. So unless you're doing something very, very specific, such as macro, what I would recommend to give you ultimate freedom is to get a zoom lens with as much of a range as possible. The sun's coming up, let's, let's take some more photographs. Let's put this to the test. Am I more creative when I have less decisions to make when it comes to gear? Sure you don't want to be in the video. I'll make you famous. <laughs> Work time. Ah, this morning's conditions are absolutely perfect. Even better than I thought. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying myself because ah, just the freedom, hand holding, shooting shots as well. So I've actually found the same tree that I found a year ago. And generally in this woods this morning, there's no mist, but there's just mist on our scene on our particular tree. I say our because Stuart's here as well. So if you don't know who Stuart is, what I'll do is I'll put a link to his social media because he's got some awesome images. He's another local landscape photographer as well. I'm up against it because I've not got long before I need to go um, because I'm shooting this, now I've got to get to work. Plus my batteries are going flat. 
one of the downsides of coming out with minimal gear i've only got one battery and it's on 20 percent so i have to say I've, I've enjoyed myself this morning this is good i'm gonna have to do this more often one camera one lens i've enjoyed myself hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video